And welcome back here to Adobe Live on a Wednesday. And today I'm joined once again. You may have seen him on Monday. And my good friend is right next to me. So who are you? Uh, my name's Jeff. I'm from Accounts. <laughs> well, um, welcome to Adobe <laughs> Live. First time guest. And of course, Thank you. as always, it's great to be here. We're also joined by our wonderful friends in the chat. And Stuart says, ooh, a band member. Yes. Little known fact, you can actually see him, see me. Yes, you can hear me sing in the uh, latest and greatest release of The Darnest. Not The Darned, sorry. Not The Darnest. Yeah. <laughs> That's the follow-up band. That's when we yeah, split the, up the and have artistic band, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so as always, <clears throat> got to keep this professional. We are um, streaming to Behance. So if you're watching this on YouTube, do make sure to come on over to behance.net slash live and I can show you the link right here. There we are. Fantastic. So come on over to Behance and that's where we are reading the chat. And we have some questions. <laughs> Hello and Tim and Jeff from Accounts. Yes. Hi, Oliver. Great to have you. I have a songwriting credit though, please. Um, yes, we're giving out credits today. Um, you can put this into in your study sheet and... Uh, it's going to be super fun. Right. Okay. So, um, Tony. Yes. Wh wh what are we doing today? Right. So we should bring everybody up to speed, really, shouldn't we? Uh-huh. I mean, people who are watching on Monday, um, and I'm going to be honest with you, Tim. Yeah. <laughs> on Monday, I had it in my head. We had 90 minutes. And it wasn't until we were some way in when I suddenly said, in a minute, is it 90 minutes today? <laughs> Great. And when That's... you said in my ear, no, it's an hour, and Maddie said it's an hour, I thought, uh, okay. So I've had to do some extra work. Um, but anyway, what we're doing is we're doing an album cover for the formerly fictitious band, now a real thing, um, The Darned. Right? And The Darned have been in several of uh, my LinkedIn learning courses um, for many years. They've been, been there. an album cover in every single one of my illustrator trainings and in some of the courses as well. Uh, so we're doing a cover for uh, the album, The Wall on the Floor. Uh, we had a track list up for that the other day. I'm not going to pull the track list back up. Um, but uh, we did have also uh, the lyrics out there. And if I just go ahead and share my iPad screen just for a moment, if that is OK oh, with your good self. Are we there? We're, we're slightly covering the iPad. Hang on. You you continue and I will just move us. Uncover the iPad. Okay. This is very good. All right. I kind of like it. Did you do that because I also introduced phones? But I'm not doing that today. So we're all good. <laughs> <laughs> so since uh, since closing out on this, where I would kind of roughly estimated the position of some of the figures, uh, I went ahead and did some extra work. Now, the way I do something like this, once I've got those positions, uh, is I typically work in another document. I get some figure reference uh, and I start to work out all of the different figures. If I just go back here and go into uh, my figure reference uh, thing here, you can see how I've drawn up some of these. I've, I've spent a little bit more time on the uh, on the hats there, the brick hats and so on. There's got to be someone in there taking uh, sort of a selfie against the wall on the floor, right? That's obligatory. Actually, let me just switch my camera as well, Tim. I'll just switch my camera over. There. Lots of camera switching today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <clears throat> Loads. We're all about the camera switches. So, uh, excuse the, the rubbish that's in the background. But anyway, uh, moving on. Yeah, so I've got that uh, figure for the foreground here. Also taking the photo directly. Someone with a, an actual camera. They're also going to have a wall t-shirt on uh, just there. Someone pondering the wall. All of that sort of stuff. And then I take those layers out. You can see all of the different layers here. Okay. And then just paste the layers into uh, this document. I'll come back out of this again in a second. So you can see now that's starting to take uh, shape. Now there's a bit more detail in some of these than there will actually be in the cover. They're going to be a bit flatter. <laughs> Tony, uh, I like how you're still yeah. looking to the camera, even though it's the other I know. One. I just noticed I did that. Yeah. <laughs> I can see it over on the screen over there. And I turned around and thought, oh, I'm looking at the side of my face now. <laughs> well, that's what you get when you add stuff in. But there you go. So there you are. Anyway, they're all there. They're all pretty much right because generally people at the same height, their faces will be at the same height in perspective, right? So 
Now, you might think this one here is a little bit tall, but Tim, that's you. Wow. That, this one here, this one here is you. Okay, the one that, so there's the woman in the corner and then the next, that's you. You're there. Oh. Checking it out. Man, I look uh, good the, from behind. The, um, now, on the uh, drawing I was doing on Friday, I put a trowel, a builder's bricklaying trowel on top of this uh, headgear. And I took it out, a good idea to take it out into another document uh, and and start to work on it just there, right? Because I looked at that and thought, that is way too elaborate if things are going to start to flatten out inside of this image. So I refined it a little bit uh, here, okay, and started to work out what the costume would actually look like. And I thought, essentially, it would be uh, a wall-based costume. <laughs> that's, uh, we that's, what a, we're, that's what we're going to do. Do we have a name yeah. for this person? Um, I haven't made a, made one yet, but I mean, if anybody wants to suggest uh, a name, that's Jason. That's fine. Jason the Mason. Jason the Mason. <laughs> I like it. Can you add that to the song list, Tim? Or write that one up later. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll get the lyrics right now. Why you design? You no. Know? Okay. Okay. Fabulous. Uh, and then from there, we are going into Illustrator on the iPad because some of this stuff will be easier. Now, I'm not going to finish every single figure today because we've got lots of other things to cover. So I'll hop between uh, doing some of those. I've decided they're going to be fairly flat. What's tickling you now? What did I do now? <laughs> no, Sandrine says, hey, builders, leave the bricks alone. Very good. Like it. Here's a factoid for you, Tim. Another factoid from the long, long existence of Tony Harmer. When I was about, I don't know, uh, 19 or 20, I had a girlfriend called Kate and um, Kate Hartley, uh, her name was. And uh, she lived next door to Roger Waters in a place called Thurfield, um, which is near Royston in Hertfordshire. There you go. He had a They had a pink cottage and he was in the big barn cottage next door. Anyway, there you go. Da -da. That's, that's the... <laughs> Three degrees of separation between me and Pink Floyd. <laughs> but that's pretty much it. Okay, uh, so I'm going to start on one that's fairly simple, I think. I might go for this chap here. Actually, no, I'm going to start with this one, the selfie person. So in terms of layers, I've got a layer here which is locked called Trace. So I can turn that off as I want to. And I've got an initial layer. Uh, called draw and what I should do is separate everything on there out as I work but because I've got to get stuff done today we'll see how that goes and so working in the pencil tool yeah go 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 we have some um, names Monty Mortar Wally McWarface Rick the Brick man you can tell you guys are British <laughs> well, you're not, but, <laughs> yeah. but anyway, moving Welcome on. Welcome to the UK stream. Yeah, uh -huh. Rick the Brick. <laughs> right, moving on. Okay, so I'm going to work, uh, I'm going to, in depth-wise, I'm going to work at the things that are furthest back uh, first. So the thing furthest back in here, okay, is the phone. So that's pretty straightforward. I'm actually going to draw that. I'm not going to use a, a rectangle for that. Okay, I'm just going to draw a shape. It only needs to be representative of that that will do i'm going to change the color here i have my sliders set to hsb right because i like to do things that are involved uh, with the same tone so here i'm simply going to drop the brightness down so i've got a black that's got a bit of brown in it okay that's how i'm going to make uh, that one roll so that's good as it is then i can start working here okay on the arm so there's a would be a thumb just there and just up here and around. It's kind of weird drawing with it, just sort of filling in at the same time. There we go. I mean I that's the smooth. advantage of Illustrator on the iPad. Yesterday I think we were in Fresco, or well, not yesterday on Monday. We were, yeah. Right. And also there's yeah. a third app for um, the iPad. That's Photoshop, which by the way. Just yesterday, got a new update, and you can now import custom brushes. Sweet. Would you look at that? Among, of course, other yeah. updates, like the update for XD, 
Wilken and Angular gradients and inner shadows. And of course, also the update for Illustrator on desktop, where you can finally rotate the canvas. Yes. Yes. This is what people want. It's definitely what I want. <laughs> yes. I can remember talking and talking about that with the um, with the team ages and ages and ages ago um, about uh, the you know need to rotate it. But why do you need to rotate it? Wasn't it? Well, because <laughs> I do. I don't work at the same angle as um, as the as the thing that I'm working on. I just it just doesn't work that way. Okay. And also the thing is with working with vectors, it's nice and easy to make corrections. Nice and easy. Uh, so back to here again, I'm going to go pretty flat with this. Let's go ahead and draw. And yes, um, St. Reed says Kai Webster has some new brushes out in the US and for now apparently. The summer collection, isn't it? Coming soon. Is it the summer collection? To a Photoshop near you. Tune up and Q. welcome in Omar from Miami, Florida. Hi, Omar. What time is it? Wow. Over there. Must be early in the morning. It's very time. early. Ooh, somebody's Tony. had it. Somebody's... Yeah, yeah. <sighs> we, we haven't played the, uh, the, mid, the wall on the floor unplugged mix yet. Do you know, we should do that. <gasps> we should do that right now. I mean, you can continue drawing because while we're doing that. And you can find I'm going something. to continue drawing. Yeah, I can. Okay, so I, I will just tell the people quickly about that. So you um, do that. When Tony sent me the um, the audition mix with the, um, the voices and some temp tracks, um, I thought to myself, wow, Chloe, who is the lead singer in that song, she can really sing. And almost, it's a pity that I'm hiding all that great singing with uh, a whole bunch of orchestral music, like some strings and brass instruments. So I thought, why don't we do a sort of unplugged mix where we only have the guitar and the singing, and of course, me singing too, <laughs> um, in the background. And uh, that's exactly what we have. It's a wall on the floor, medieval mix, unplugged version. So if you want, dear chat, we can have a listen to that right now. And of course, nice. I have to wait for the delay, but I'm just going to pretend like everybody said yes. Like, yeah. <laughs> so we don't have to wait for the delay because waiting is awkward. So here we go. Medieval wall on the floor. Nice. Octopus dances, the tentacles wave A beckoning signal for meek and for brave Come gather my children, let's open the door And see with our own eyes the wall on the floor Let's see with our own eyes the wall on the floor The wall on the floor is where our mice can play It is horizontal and points the wrong way But it's easy to climb as it's perfectly flat You'll have no fear of falling and won't need a hat No fear of falling and won't need a hat the mystery they speak of in town where does the wall come from and why it lays down put it by druids or felines from space or did giants drag it from some other place we don't know we don't know we don't know what well, we don't know is that dunning kruger well yes i guess so Let's get back to the story, no tangents allowed The wall on the floor is the subject right now Well okay, well okay, I'll do what you say Just thought I'd mention and done anyway Thank you so much By the pyramid 
paradise in the valley of things You'll find the pink river and adequate springs There are many who travel from far, far away And there may be a bus, but I really can't say I've checked and there is one just on Saturday So much fun. <laughs> I, I still think, still think it's uh, funny. And I, you know, I have heard this um, song so much and so often. Like I have to mouth along, just pretend like I'm singing, because I've heard this one so many times <laughs> now, like at least 50, 60 times over the weekend. She, she's good, right? She really is good. So that was uh, Wall on the Floor, the Unplugged mix. If you want to hear the full orchestral version, you can tune in on Monday or back our soon-to-come Kickstarter project. Yes. Stretch goal 2 million, I will come to your house and personally sing it for you. <laughs> With a ukulele and a bad flute recorder. Hang on. Okay. Right, do we have some questions from the chat? Um, I love this kind of music, so soothing. Yes, it is very, very good, says Stuart. Maybe they could play their band on the wall. I don't want to click that link. Uh, it could be a garage band. Is the guitar or a lute? It is a guitar. Well, a virtual guitar. Made to sound looty. I don't have a real one. <laughs> uh, Sounds a bit looty. <laughs> Oh man! And they say green sleeves has a similar style. Yeah, slightly reminiscent of green sleeves, maybe. A little bit. That was the that was the sort of vibe. Really, was to do uh, do something that was, you know, sounded medieval. And, uh, yeah, green sleeves would be a good good point of reference for that. Really would. So. Okay. But yes. Now back to the wall on the floor. Where are we yes. uh, right now? I see your drawings. Uh, what is that? Yes. Uh, it's a bit uh, of armpit okay. shadow. <laughs> <laughs> that shadow was... Uh, that looked really weird, just extending out. But yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, you can see that once it's, once it's punched away, it does the job. It only needs to be... Um, it only needs to be just that. I'm going to send these... Um, How did you punch that in? Just to stamp... Stencil Shape out. Builder. I'll be doing it again in a minute, so you'll be able to see it uh, again uh, just there. Um, when we get to the desktop, Tim, I've actually got one of my um, one of my more recent album covers to um, to share with you. And also, I've got this isn't one of my covers as such, right? This isn't completely mine, but this logo for Cron Gen, I did that like forty years ago. <laughs> Wow. And they are still using it, still using it today. Well, I thought um, you were only 39, Tony. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? I did it actually in, in the process of, of gestation. I just thought, oh, I'm a bit bored now. Just laying there in this fluid. I'm just going to go and do some stuff. I'm going to design an album cover for some people <laughs> that also haven't been born yet. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. Are you guys so, drawing? Taking, uh, draw, are you drawing a woman taking a selfie? Yes, because that's uh, obviously the first thing you'll do. It's kind of the objective. The yeah, true. First thing. Um, do you want to explain where the wall on the floor comes from, Tim? Just sure. so people don't think. Yes. So we had when we were talking about this. Uh, Hackathon, which by the way goes on for another day on Friday in After Effects. Yes, Gareth, After Effects. Um, party. Also, some Photoshop. And Photoshop. Yeah. Um, yeah. We were talking about how <laughs> next life Tony and Tim in a kilt. Um, maybe some Scottish or Irish jig music. That would be nice. Um, right. We were talking about what we could do for the stream today, of course, this whole week. And. Um, Tony was showing me around in his studio and he had some molds for fake brick walls on the floor. And me, never having seen that, like just walls on the floor, immediately I grabbed my ukulele and just 
I had to walk the floor, a wall on the floor. You think it's a wall, but it's on the floor. The wall on the floor, the wall on the floor. You think it's a wall, but it has it has no door. And now that those lyrics were a bit bland, especially if you were to repeat them for two minutes. So Tony went on and uh, and somehow overachieved. <laughs> I don't know how much tea he drank, uh, and he made a whole song about <laughs> made a whole song yes. out of it. And then he sent yes. me the lyrics and uh, basically just said, "Make it sound good." Mm-hmm. That's not how it went, but you know, yeah, T. <clears throat> we have the funds doing these things. It's good fun, and I hope I hope that you enjoy it, our lovely community. Because Tim Tim works really really hard. <laughs> Even though you can't these tell things by right. The but the result was something you can't tell. But I work hard. <laughs> you do work hard, mate. Uh. You do. Absolutely, you do. So, yeah, so all good in that regard. Yeah, we did that. Uh, Tim, have you ever seen the film Kingsman, The Secret Service? Have you ever seen that movie? Why, yes, of course, with Eggsy. Yes, indeed. Taron Egerton, yes, uh, as Eggsy. Uh, well, the wall you were looking at on the floor, those moulds, uh, same wall Wait. as the one in the tailor shop when they go... You're telling me when they pull the coat hanger, uh, the the hook down and they will travel to the secret under layer, underground layer. That's the yep. wall on the floor. It's uh, that the, wall. On the wall. Same wall. The, the <laughs> wall the on the wall. wall yeah. It's the same wall. Wall on the wall. It's Crazy. the same wall. <laughs> and there we have our next song. The wall on the wall is the same wall. I wanted, last night I was writing um, uh, The Bunnies No More. That's what I was writing last night. With the wall on the floor? Fun. Yeah, on the album, The Wall on the Floor. So I was writing bunny, The Bunnies No More with a K. So The Bunnies, K-N-O-W, more. Ah. Oh, yes, of course. I, I mean, I was yeah. hoping for the, um, I give it an inch and you take 1.61 kilometers. I mean, that's a banger. Uh, yeah, well, pretty much got most of that. That's that's pretty much a, a, a done deal. That one. Well, how would you it's miss scary. part of my singing? Because turns out uh, this quote-unquote choir in the background and the one on the floor song that's me <laughs> and it sounds it really really weird when you just solo out the voice you can actually hear me singing the wall on the floor it sounds really weird this is what people love tim <laughs> this is what they love i think i like this bit because this bit's really easy you just draw around this stuff like this and don't um, have do to you worry have, too much do you have a fixed color palette did you did you pick one out before or are you just going by eye no, I was going by eye because the the great thing is is I can change out whatever I want on here when I, when I'm ready. Um, so, and if of course, of course if you don't of like this. always having to tap on the um, color swatch, you can disconnect the palette. Detach the palette. You can. I could do that right now, actually. There we go. Just to show the people that you can do that. Just to show the peoples. Yeah. What I'm enjoying most about this week. Uh, Tim O'Tay uh-huh. um, is thank you very much. <laughs> Tim said is uh, that I'm not actually teaching. Teaching, I'm at, I'm enjoying myself. You know, because normally when I'm on these things, I'm normally doing like, and you click here to do this, and you click here to do this, and if you don't do this, then that happens. And I'm not doing any of that. You're crazy, Tony. Totally. It's just really nice. I don't know. It's just great. It's just good fun. But yeah, it's, it's great to see um, the focus on the uh, creation, the creative side. Yeah. I mean, not that your masterclasses aren't creative at all. I mean, and we have seen, we all, we all have seen the uh, the cats and the lasers and. Uh, awesome save! <laughs> Wicked save! Well done. The. Um, um, oh, I love cats. Noor is asking, is this Fresco or Illustrator? So on Monday... Illustrator. We were fresco. But today, we were. we're an Illustrator. We are. Now, we'll be starting Friday. Right? We'll be beginning Friday 
in Photoshop. All right, that's a reparameterize just a little bit um, to make up for my, uh, is it an hour or 90 minutes faux pas of the other day. I'm just gonna um, give you a quick time update. You have about four minutes since of course today is a 30 <laughs> minute stream. So much fun. <laughs> you really are. <laughs> the crowd goes wild. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh. See, now I glitch there. So two fingers down. There we are. Right. Um, Amad is saying, we want him to sing another song. His voice is beautiful and he gives sweetness to a drawing he draws. I don't draw, Tony draws, but thank you very much. Maybe Amad means you. That you should sing one more song. Typical. Give you an inch and you take 1.61 kilometers. <laughs> Give you an inch and you take 1.61 kilometers. No, no, no. There we go. That's how it rolls. I mean, that's for the next stream. We will do live music. Just uh, yes. got the keyboard right here. And um, it will be behind music. me. <laughs> so while Tony will be drawing with the other hand or with, the, with, with his feet I don't care I mean yeah as long as it gets, <laughs> as it gets done as it gets done he will uh, do some live music I mean it won't yeah. sound great if he plays it with her feet but uh, it'll be music Tim will be on tour yeah. the European tour for another three weeks by the end of the year yes if we reach uh, the stretch goal of course yes that's the important bit. Did I tell you I spoke to a producer last night? I mean, you told me, but you didn't tell the people. I didn't tell the people, so no. So, uh, producer? Sorry, what? So, uh, do you know what? I'm going to redraw that hand in a minute because I just realised this jacket is, is not right. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, somebody who knows me who watch the stream. So quite a lot of people. Um, quite a lot of people, true, yeah. Um, went ahead and, and and said to me, would I be interested, before I go rushing away to Kickstarter, um, would I be interested in having a chat <laughs> <laughs> with, um, with them about, uh, about making uh, an album for the darned. So I said, I, I said, I don't mind having a chat about it. And so I'd do it. But, you know, a chat is always nice, right? Mm. I'm going to have to resolve that in a bit. It's because I was chatting away. I'm going to bin that for a second. I'll come back to that. Uh, so that's anatomically way wide of the mark. Um, Let's go ahead and do this. I've got setting myself goals here of things I want to get done today. By. And of course, if um, at home, if you're inspired to create your own album cover, or maybe if you're yeah. musically inclined, if you want to do that, you can of course, uh, of course, also create some music. Um, of course, uh, with your very own song titles, and you're more than welcome to share them on the Discord. Which uh, yeah, I will put the link to that in the chat if you haven't joined already. It's a buzzing community over there. It's really, really fun, and also um, you can ask questions, and we will tell you more about the stream. We will share links and uh, eat pizza. I mean, that has nothing to do with the Discord, but nobody's stopping you from eating pizza. Or any other food you want. I've just changed the smoothing, by the way, on my pencil because that's what's fighting against me just at the minute. So, uh, when would you use um, which, um, you no, know, grade of smoothing? When would you use lower or less smoothing, and when would you use more? Do you have? Um, well, if you if you get to a point when you're drawing that you're not getting um, you're not getting uh, the result you're after, then it's good. Good time to, to change the smoothing. So if you were if you were drawing, let's say I was drawing a nice smooth organic shape, like just like 
this, yeah. There are little bumps in there around uh, some of these points. If I highlight the points where there are bumps, then just move my touch shortcut out of the way. Just a second, or touch modifier. There are some bumps in there that I might not want. Now I can use the uh, simplify uh, option over on the side here. I've got uh, the option to simplify uh, the path and whatnot and do some smart deletion. So if I choose that, let's just go ahead and get the selection tool and target. I need to be in anchor point mode and do smart delete or simplify here. Yeah, so I can do that after the fact and it will reduce the number of, of vectors that are placed. Yeah. But what I can also do if I wasn't getting that is just change the smoothing. And if you, the, the further up you go, the more extreme it is. So I'm now going to try and draw the same shape here this time. So I'm going to go around to this point here. And you can actually see the smoothing taking place while I draw it. And how do you do those sharp corners? Because I mean, those aren't smooth. No, they're not smooth. So all I do is pause at that particular point. Yeah. So I just pause then and it does it. If you watch again, so if I um, if I just undo that and I'm going to change the smoothing again, I'm going to come down to about halfway here. Okay, and I'm just going to try and draw that shape one more time. So I'm starting at the top here going across. Now, as I come back on the curve, right, I'm going to stop and pause. I've not lifted the brush. Did you see a small blue flash then with the dot? Uh -huh. And that just tells me that it's recognized that and turned it into a corner. And here it's closing the path. Neat. So that's how I get those sharp, sharp things. All you need to do is pause. I think it's for about half a second and it just does it. Uh, and you... so as for how much you modulate it, that's... Um, it depends on the result you're trying to get. So I'm going to try and draw this boot here now. This is a boot down here. Okay. And, and of course, I want it to do... the smoothing scale goes from 1 to 10. And if you have trouble yeah, remembering it. that, think of um, 1 as being my voice and 10 being Chloe's voice. So very smooth. She'll love that, Tim. <laughs> she'll be sat in the other studio watching this right now and she'll be all... She'll go, she'll go very red because she's super shy, really. Well, she's not super shy, but she's very, very modest. Um, we um, also had some questions in the, in the chat. Okay, uh, go. Gareth is asking, when is After Effects on? No, just kidding. Uh, what's the compositional secret behind building an album cover? Or are there multiple secrets for composition when you're working on covers? I mean, you have been working on just more than once. It's just yeah, haven't started yesterday. So do you ha can I offer any... Any tips, perhaps for symmetry or anything, to um, build a cohesive album cover? It depends what they want, um, mate. It's because uh, everything's different. It, you know, there's no there's no formula. They will they will always want space for the logo, always, unless they are so accomplished that they just think you know putting it in simple type across the top is is sufficient. Um, with this one, which is kind of illustrating uh, a song in there, then it's going to be difficult to fit all those things in because they're not real. It's not a real thing. Um, so here, what I've done is it, there is two point perspective, but I've gone for a single plane for the wall uh, there and then managed to fit everything else in around it. But no, there's no, it's the same as any other. Yeah, it's the same as any other white space or, or blank space. Yeah, how you fill it depends on the subject. So the one I'll show you um, a bit later on, which is by uh, Iggy T and the Crazy Makers. We did that last summer. Correction, it was the summer before I was doing something else for them last year. Um, I had shot photography for that, so I, I had to work it around that. I'll show you that when we get to the desktop. But there's no secret. Composition is composition with any space, right? You have to, to make it work. Um, I'm not working on the faces here just at the moment because what I'm going to do, in fact, I'll show you on this one here. And in fact, I'll show you um, two things. I said I wasn't teaching, but now I suddenly am <laughs> inadvertently. Yeah. I want to show you this particular thing. Right? So this is pretty much square on um, this face. So I'm going to draw this. I'm going to take the smoothing 
down to about three or four because I do want it smooth to some degree okay but I don't want it to be completely smooth so I'm going to draw an ear shape like so and then come down into the jawline and just stop there move my way around I'm going to do oh, a kinky bump there which is not as much fun as it sounds <laughs> so I'm trying to draw a square on <laughs> I'll start again at the ear, just there, go around and stop, down, stop, cross, and look around, and stop. And then I'm going to just make my way up here to the top of the head plane. I'm going to draw there, and around, and down, and wait for it to close that off. Now, I've drawn half here because I want it to be symmetrical on purpose. Okay, and I can use. Uh, if I get the thing selected with the selection tool, I can use the mirror repeat here to repeat this. It's amazing. It looks like something from the division bell. Um, <laughs> <Ooh -hoo. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like that. And I've just noticed an error in my drawing that needs to be corrected anyway. But I could do that. The only thing is, while that, t while that tool is excellent, um, it does... Uh, it does um, create some wacky clipping groups that I am not a fan of. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, first of all, correct this because I need this top point here to be aligned with this one down <laughs> at the bottom now. And What's up Angus, now? What's, is this Gareth just, related? No, no, me and Angus had the same idea. A splitting headache. Was literally... <laughs> and also... See what um, you did there. Joe. Joe Alam is joining us. Says, hello, hello. Hey, hello, hello Joe. Joe. Been away for the last few days, but gonna catch up on these sessions before Friday's finale. You should, otherwise you won't know what you can expect from the song. Ah. <laughs> so that means you haven't heard that song yet. Go back and watch. Oh, Joe. Joe's not heard. Oh man, what happened there? Um, but Gareth oh. is indeed asking a question, not related to After Effects. Go on. Um, two point perspective, question mark. It's quite a short question. Okay. Um, well, yeah. I'm gonna, for this, I'm going to use a new document. Hold on a second. Let's, let's just do that quickly. <laughs> and Sarah says, so, teaching is a particular talent of yours, Tony. You can't es escape it. Oh. <sighs> but I, I mean, I want people to do well. I want them to, you know, so that's the thing. That's why I'm, I'm, I've been doing this for a long time. It won't be too long before I won't be able to do it anymore. Um, so now will be now is a good time to do it. I'm going to put a massive great blobby point here in the middle of this artboard. Uh, so one point perspective is where everything. If I just pop a horizon line in here, um, let's just go ahead and get uh, a grid. I was I thought it was in fresco for a moment. In fact, you know what? I am going to jump out and use fresco instead. So I'll go back. that's a great looking preview. I'll leave I am where I am in this and I'll swap out to Fresco and new document just here. Okay, and I'm gonna get the ruler, spin that around like so. Okay, and I'm going to draw a single plane like this. Okay, so there's the horizon line uh, there like so. Uh, I'll keep the uh, the mark just here that I made inadvertently, and at the bottom of that, turn that into the vanishing point. Yeah. So if you draw things with a single point perspective, right, so let's just say I had two cubes, okay, that were, um, you had a face that you were staring directly at. So you're looking directly mm -hmm at both of those things. Now they're cubes, right? Not rectangles. So they would, okay, vanish. They would, their uh, other faces would converge, okay, to the vanishing point like so. So that's one point perspective. Yeah, they would, I'll just draw out there. And of course, I'm just scribbling this on the iPad. Okay. But that's, that's one point perspective, okay? Done, nice and easy. All got that? Yep. Perfect. Easy right. enough. 
The minute you move into objects that you are not staring uh, straight at, I'm just tapping through, crazy. <laughs> just get rid of these lines. There used to be a history uh, thing in uh, Sketch. Uh, Photoshop Sketch, which was really good. So the minute you're looking at something different, something that is at a different angle, so let's just take one of these cubes. So this time you've got a cube here like so, and you are looking at it at something other than a flat view, okay? So here's this one side here. Yeah. It's in the wrong place, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, so these lines would converge to other points. So if I extended that line there, okay, and extended this line here, at some point, they would cross over at the horizon. The horizon's in the wrong place, like I said a moment ago. In fact, I can't be done with doing that. I'm going to have to draw it again. <sighs> That's where you first there draw you the vanishing points and then the objects. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to do it that way, Tim. It makes the most and sense, maybe, to be perfectly honest. Maybe, just maybe, a tool by Fresco will soon help you with that, with perspective. Yes, objects. that would be very good if it but, did. Um, so there you are. There's two-point perspective. They are still moving, okay, off to those two vanishing points. But what, what some people try to do quite often is they try to do everything in... Um, They think, okay, I'm doing a thing in two in with two point uh, perspective, and they try and draw everything that way, yeah, within that scene, and it doesn't work like that. Yeah, some objects will share those planes, some others will not, or they would have an additional point here. So if I had the wall on the floor that was in front of this cube that was at an, at an angle, yeah, so the wall on the floor, we may be directly above that. It's very difficult to draw. This um, iPad, by the way, is balanced on top of my audio rack. <laughs> so my lines are normally pretty good. <laughs> But they sound great, Tony. <laughs> But they sound awesome. <laughs> oh, but if Joe, thanks ever so much for the help with the audio help the other day. Much appreciated. Thank you. Nice. I got that interface. I just haven't, uh, not interface, um, the line in thing. I just haven't deployed it yet. Yeah, so you can see how I can work with that and that has its own perspective and you might have something else that shares that you can have more than one thing you might have a vanishing point again for something else that extends off of here you might you know there might be lots of different points you know that's going to two point now but you may have those in a composition there you are is that helpful gareth well i hope so And uh, two so, point too. will always sit on the same horizontal line. Well, I suppose so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the vanishing point, the vanishing point, the, the horizon line, that, that's the one thing that generally doesn't change. The horizon line is the horizon line. Um, you may have something. So if you've got aerial content, if you've got like you're drawing sort of a spaceship coming into land or something, that goes into three point perspective. Very different. And Uh, be nice to have it. Do you know? Do you know who'd be great to teach that? I think if on a stream, mm -hmm. Klaus Schafinski. That, Klaus that was Schafinski. exactly who was, I was thinking of. And I'm pretty sure yeah. he has taught us about perspective already. Yeah, he must he's have. really good. So, uh, okay. So, uh, the the alternate way of doing this. So I mentioned a moment ago. I might use symmetry to do this, but it creates loads of clipping groups. Here, I'm just duplicating a copy of that. Okay, and then. I'm simply going to flip it over. I'm going to come down here and use the alignment tools and flip that over. And then I'm going to manually uh, align it like so. Yeah. Something like that will be fine. I would then select both of those things. I can go to the shape builder just here, select the shape builder. I'm going to zoom in. So the first thing I'll get rid of would be these things just here. Okay, like so. Got to hold down the touch shortcut. Uh, hello. There we are. That's it. Got rid of those. Uh, is there anything? The top will be hidden anyway by hair. And then just join those things together like that. There we are. Super good. There is a bit of a point down at the bottom here. 
Uh, so I'm going to go to the point tool. I'm going to click on that and then turn that to a smooth point. I mean, could be a V-neck shirt. Could be a V-neck shirt as well. But even a V-neck would have a slight curve at the bottom of it, just the same. <laughs> Live previews in Shaper, though. Why can't the desktop version have that? Yeah. I, really... that, I mean, that is lovely, right? The fact that mm. you get that. In the, with the Pathfinder modes where you've got that. No more guessing those things. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah, really good. Um, yeah, it is good. No. I'm wondering why I'm still getting divide all on there because this should be one thing. I'm just going to check. Yeah, still one shape. Interesting. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap combine all and see what it does. Yeah. See, there must have been a small point somewhere that was separate. Uh, anyway, I'm going to convert this to a path. Can you see that down at the bottom of the Pathfinders and Shape Builder here? Uh -huh. I'll just do that. And that changes it, changes the nature of it. It then becomes um, a path and actually a group as well. So I'm going to ungroup that too. There should be nothing else there. Now. That's it. Good. Uh, so once I've got that, uh, again, I would typically uh, make a duplicate of that. So we're dealing with that whole face thing uh, here. I'm going to move that over to the side, like so. And then this one here, and to make this less opaque. Let me know when, where are we for time, Tim? Because I want to do some stuff in the 45 desktop as well. 45 minutes. Perfect. Okay. Plus, of course, so, 10 minutes of buffer time, as always. 10 minutes of buffer time. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Until the BN's so, ban hammer comes for us and stops our stream. Yes. And the V neck is not low enough for the kids today. Yeah. Yeah, it probably isn't actually. It has to be as um, low as the splitting he headache we had earlier that went all the way through. Yes. Uh, so, what I'm drawing now, okay, here is I'm going to draw sort of a shadow line. Yeah, something like this. So do you have a fixed point of a light, a light source, so to say? For, um... Yeah, generally light is the one thing that you'd want. You'd want all of these things to share. It really is. Do you, do you um, paint that in or do you just keep that in mind when drawing? I know some people uh, just no. Put I've a normally got uh, big one. I, normally I've got it in the sketch. Okay, it's normally it's normally already there. Uh, the duplicate, by the way, is for safety. Don't need that because it's, that's all fine. Okay, and uh, we can now bring the opacity of that back up. And interesting. I know why. Because it's made a group. I forgot to convert it to a path. Let me go back. And um, Christine asks, do you work on one layer or more than one layer? No, normally more. Normally normally more than I'm working with right now. But right now you're doing so, only one layer? Yeah. Okay. But right now I am. I'll resolve all of that by the time. So I want us to get to um, the things we need for Friday. Because if you're looking for layers, just ask Joe. He has all of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And that's the thing, I'm going <laughs> to, I'll be tidying everything up for Friday. I don't want Joe in panic attacks because <laughs> <laughs> but my layers are, are in disarray. All the single um, layers, yeah. all the single layers. <laughs> oh, if you like it better, put a link on it. Um, are the layers named? Well, since there only is one layer, I'm pretty sure that's a quick fix. And yeah, I'm still a firm believer of that. Um, Layer one is a name. Ready layer one. <laughs> you see what I hey. did there? Uh, one point for Tony. Uh, Winning. I'll be, ins I'll be inspecting the layer, layer names on uh, Friday, says Joe. Oh. Layer police. Joe's going to stress me out, man. <laughs> Thank God he's not watching. Joe's going, I know. <laughs> well, he's so good. Oh. Joe is. He really is good. So here I've done a divide um, on this, just so you know. 
What is uh, divided um, up all of this? What's it all about? What does divide do? What does divide do? Right, divide takes all of these shapes, okay, and chops them up into individual things. So I'm just going to ungroup them. So wherever there's an overlap, yeah, it chops them up. So here you can see I have that shape now. Here I have that shape. So what I'm going to do with both of these things, I'm going to select both of them like so, and I'm going to change their color, make them darker like that. They also need to be, I think, a bit more blue and still a bit darker. I don't like black, 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 black <laughs> in my work. I like all of blacks to have a little bit of color in them, generally associated with the with what they're working with. Uh, so you can see this half here, the things I've drawn out here. Again, this is this all gets tidied up later on. Beauty of doing this and not having pixels, of course, is that you can do as much editing as you want. And what about duplicating? Um, yeah, what do you mean, what about duplicating? <laughs> can you- Who's asking that? about duplicating? Yes, please elaborate. Please expand on your, your duplicating uh, thing. True blue hair. Yes. Well, black hair is a bit blue, right? Uh, if you are standing under a blue sky or in front of a blue screen, perhaps? Well, when you draw it, it's, it's a bit blue. Right, so I would carry on doing uh, all of these things, all of these faces across here. But there are some things now that I want to go and build in uh, Illustrator. So at this point, okay, I'm going to stop on that because the drawing carries on the way it carries on. You've seen uh, the way those figures are going to be drawn uh, pretty much. So I'll get some texture added in, in all likelihood. But the things I want to focus on now Okay, are the approaches for the OctoCat. I'm going to try and get to that. Uh, if not, you'll see it on Friday anyway, that bit. Um, I want to work on the uh, felines from space, right. uh, their, their craft, and the pyramid dice, and hopefully the adequate springs. And Joe's probably feels like, feels like he's waking up from some terrible dream right now, all going <laughs> into one. <laughs> so the, the what springs now? The, the adequate springs. We I mean, listen to the song. You know what it's all about. So we yeah, were... listen to it at the end, Tim. We're going to play. Uh, so, sorry, not Tim. Joe, we're going to play it again. Okay. At the end. That's the play. Yeah. Then you'll know. Or watch Monday's stream and see how uh, True. how that all goes. Just or even better, of... watch both. Huh? Yeah. Gotta get the replay numbers up. You see. This is really good. Good idea. Tim's on it. All right, just bear with me a second while I get set up. Is Tim uh, in some Has he Vaseline the lens on the other cam? Uh, that's uh, the old one I had. And I thought since the Double Life team sent me a better one, the one that actually is more sharper, I used this one as a B cam so I can pretend like I'm Joe and have this conversational angle. Joe's so influential on right? this on this whole live stream, right? Suddenly we're all doing like multi-camera stuff. I mean, yeah. it doesn't look as good as Joe's, but I can do finally this. No. Right. I like it. I like what you did there. It's very good. I could go like that too. Wow. Wasn't as, wasn't as slick as yours. <laughs> all right. Okay. So. So I'm going to change the share over. I am yes. going to. Uh, oh, hello. No, it's hello. okay, Tony. That was, that was my, 4K is okay. Uh, so I'm going to share my desktop. There we are. Da, 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 da. Just got to wait for it to come across on my end in a second. Oh. And we will switch over oh. now. Wow. Okay. Goody. We're on the desktop Rock. now. We can see uh, Illustrator 2021. Yes, indeedy. Okay, so... Da, 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 da. There's me using shortcuts and the machine's just beeping at me going like, Boop. 
Uh, I think this will be a good idea now to introduce uh, some more layers and I'm just going to lock uh, this draw layer here and uh, create a new layer. This is where I will start to name um, the components that I'm working with. So I'm going to start with the dice. Right, sir. Zoom in. And now for something completely different. Oh, yeah. Oh, did you want to see a quick album cover thing? Oh, yes. yes so this is the one from Iggy T and the Crazy Makers. So you did the from typography or the entire design, the photography? The whole, the whole design. Oh, okay. The whole design. And that, so that's Sarah, the lead singer um, from that band. Great band, some really, really accomplished uh, people in that band. And this one is for and CD or Laserdisc? Uh, vinyl. Vinyl. Ooh. Vinyl. It was the first piece of vinyl I'd done in a long time. Everything else I've done for years has been um, CD. Uh, so this was the first trip back to vinyl. In fact, it would have been the first vinyl I did digitally wow. as well. I didn't even think about that at the time. It would have been mechanical artwork back in the day, and I would have only done the illustrated component of it. Um, but, uh, there are a couple where I did the whole thing digitally, but they, saying, they were CDs. So yeah. they're saying nice type, Gareth, and uh, Kirsty says, "Wow, amazing sketches are awesome, Thank custom you, font, ooh, vinyl, wax, wax cylinder, yes." It's a great album. If um, it's a really good album. I went to see them in Ojai, California, one night. They're really good. Uh, and here, it's gatefold. This one. Uh, so here's the inner sleeve uh, for that as well. Gatefolds hot. Very reduced. Mm. Yeah, soft, knocked back. Uh, tons of credits. Also like uh, a whole story on the inside there. When I saw the brief sheet for it and what there was, I just thought, wow, this is a lot of stuff. Please tell me this is a gatefold. And, yes, uh, um, and then there's inner sleeve with the lyrics as well. So inner sleeve um, with all of the lyrics for all 11 songs uh, on there across the inner sleeve. And then a knocked back. They gave me a photo. Uh, I've got a, a piece of uh, software here, which is capable of doing some incredible, insane enlargements. And I pushed that about as far as it could possibly go nice. uh, with the with the, sh the studio shot that they sent me. So all of them together playing. Well, actually, they were just taking a break from playing. I think was one of them was laughing. Um, and they needed the they needed different parts of it retouching. Oh man, it was a nightmare. It was great, great shot compositionally and everything, but just the resolution of it was tiny. It was like fit for a website. And then, yes, if we reach a fourth stretch goal, we will release the album on a wax cylinder. Do you know they still make those? Did I? Yeah, there's seconds, like a bloke yeah. somewhere in the UK and he hand makes wax cylinders. No way. Yeah. I've just found another album cover, but on a T-shirt. Da-da. Wow. So. Super nice. There you are. Now I've got to try and fold that in the way it was given to me. So. Good. Right. Anyway, back to the main story, which is getting, involving these dice. For the dice, I am going to start with uh, a square like so i am going to get rid of the fill for that and uh swap the fill and stroke together so i did those with the keyboard in fact if i i'm not gonna, i'm not teaching so i'm not going to tell you um, <laughs> uh, now i've got that like that uh because i can't help myself i'm going to apply a color to it um global colors not going to work terribly well there so i'm going to go to the swatch options just here and take that off. Okay, and then I am going to draw 
uh, nine uh, ellipses. Okay, starting from the center. So deselecting that, and I'm going to draw an ellipse like so. I'm going to change the color of that. Uh, now I'm going to make some duplicates of that. Okay, so I'm holding down the Alter Opt here that I'm teaching again. Man. Um, there we go. Now I've got those. And did you notice there that when I did that, okay, that Illustrator was giving me some help with uh, oh. the uh, spacing between them, which is perfect. That's Very exactly cool. what I'm after. Uh, and then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Okay, and the same thing over here. However, I never die you've got that. When you've got. <laughs> so that's how you always win. Oh dear. What are Dungeons and Dragons? <laughs> Ooh, a nine. What? <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that is how I always win. <laughs> ah, cheat. <laughs> oh man, I've just made my work uh, a lot harder just there all of a sudden. Uh, there we go, let's resolve that and find that. Right, now the reason I've, I've got the nine, which, uh, which I'm now ungrouping all of those things, so I'm back to having uh, ellipses, okay, is that it will help me draw uh, the rest of the dice. I'm just going to go ahead. I need four of these. So, uh, also, I mean, I was half expecting for you to pull up a trick like, Ooh, I'm going to make this uh, face with just one anchor point. Then that's Monica Gauss's gig that is doing things with just one anchor point. It's very clever and all. Yeah. Um, I mean, and I've done things with just a single anchor point. The playing but, um, card, right? Yeah, the playing card. I did do the playing card with a single anchor point. Oh, I don't mean I've, by the way. Honest. Oh, yeah, I did, didn't I? On one of the very... That's yeah, yeah, the yeah. only reason why I know it. The, on a very early masterclass... Uh, not a masterclass. Um, a fancy Friday stream. That was... was that was... It uh, was a fancy Friday fancy, stream. Yeah. yeah. The fancy right. Friday stream. Okay. Yeah. They love those in the US now. They're all over those things. All over them. So, so, what I'm going to do now I've got those things is I am going to uh, make symbols of them, not groups. I'm going to make symbols. So I need to get my symbols panel open. I am going to remove all of the stuff that's in there already. So select all of those, bin, and do that. Okay, good. Right, now I'm going to turn this first one into a symbol, which I'm going to call five. I'm going to turn this one into a symbol, which I'm going to call three. You can see an emerging pattern here. And shout out at home if you can guess what this one's going to be called. Two and a half. <laughs> Two and a half. 2.5. 2.5D, which is where we're actually going with this. Two point okay, perspective. There you go. So you can see how I went about getting a nice reliable pattern uh, with those things. Goody, 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 goody gumdrops. Right, now... I'm going to draw me another rectangle, and I'm just going to make nine and three quarters. Nine and three quarters. I was so sad when they took that away from um, King's Cross. That was one of those nice things. And um, there was um, Gareth is asking, "May I recommend a two-point perspective for a cube? Or is, is it going to be a yeah, two-point are... perspective?" It will be, yeah. It will be because these are going to be pyramids. So we're going to just uh, just bear with me, Gareth. All right, me. Fab. Right. So now I've got that. What? Now I have that particular shape. I am going to go to my effects. I'm going to go to 3D extrude and bevel. Uh, I didn't make a note of the size of the thing, so I do that first. So it's about 59. And where's 58? There we go. 58 millimeters that will be used to extrude and bevel. Uh, I am going to say make that 58 mm on there. There we go. Got a cube thing going on now. I'm going to go to map art and on this first face, this one just here, yeah, I am going to drop a uh, four. Oh, wow. That's clever. On there. And then I'm going to go to the next surface. 
next surface, next surface, next surface. There we go. So I don't know, in my wisdom, I've drawn red dice, right? And the, um, the preview that you get, there's a small red line around it. I don't know if you can see it very well. Yeah. Um, there is a preview. It tells you which is the active surface that you're working on. Uh, so with this one, uh, I'm going to make that... Uh, I'm going to make that a six just there. There we go. Like that, that will do. Just remember, those faces always add up to a seven. And I'm going to start to tip this around and about so we get sort of a pyramid shape. I'm going to need that other face. Just here. You can actually just grab the face and pull the thing around. So well, that's, that's cool. what I want to go with it. If we need me layers. Oh, so all die have opposing faces which add up to seven. Yes. Yes, this is true. Unless, of course, you're playing with a d20. In that yeah. case, they don't. I'm going to put in some camera angle just here. I'm going to go for 50 degrees. In that case, they should add up to 21, I think. Oh, okay. Maybe. Is that how it is? I, I don't know. <laughs> I will have to look in the in the Valley of Things by the Pyramid Dice, by the yeah. Pink River, and of course, Adequate Space. Yes. We could ask those people because, you know, there are many who travel from far, far away. Wait, we, we yeah, there may be a bus. We could take, take one, that one. Do you know if there's one? Maybe on Saturday? Yeah, just on Saturdays, yeah. Well, okay. Well, okay. Absolutely. Yeah, I'll, I'll do what you say. Ooh. Just thought I'd mention them done anyway. Thank you so much. I'm just covering all of these faces now because I'm struggling to find the face that I want. Is this the face you're looking for? No. I mean, they did a whole it's they not. did a whole movie about that, right? Nicolas Cage, Face Off. Oh, Face Off. They did. You're over an hour they and did. five minutes now. Luckily, we have another 20, 22, or even 30 if good. we wanted to push it. Anyway, I should have something much more extreme there in terms of uh, well, in terms of perspective, but which I can do, I can push that right the way out. Perspective, to yes. Just slide it all yes. the way. But there we go. I would do that. Uh, I would then save myself the effort of doing it a second time. Drag off a copy, and then edit that effect. Like right, going to map art, and then I'd just change the faces here. So with this one, for example, I might want six. On that one just there. Okay, if I needed to rotate that around, then I can do that. Shift key still works there. And that's about the only thing uh, that does on that one. And now I'll cycle through the faces. Five is exactly where I want to be. And so I'll go for three just there. Good. So once I've got those things uh, and I bring them into place, all of the other stuff can now disappear. Hang on, one of them just... has two faces with three on it. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. Oh, okay. Not worried about that at all. And now we have an exploding yeah, dust. Yeah, now we have an exploding dust. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, expand these uh, effects just here. I actually gave myself a shortcut for this, expand appearance, command nine, uh, to do that. So they then become artwork. Let's see if I could go through it. Uh, oh, I need, a I need to fire a quick tip at you, actually, if you're doing that. I'm going to go back to where it was before. If you're doing this, right, and you don't want the uh, faces that are hidden to be drawn, yeah, right, you can tell it to whether to uh, draw invisible geometry or not, but that was off. You'd have to elect to have it on if you wanted the other sides as well. Okay. Uh, right, good. So I'll use my shortcut this time, Command 9 on both of those. Uh, so I've got them both done, they like so. I can continue uh, warping them around uh, later on to meet what I actually want later. So I'll do that. I'll just bend these things around later on. Okay. But that's basically how I start those things off so they look more or less uh, correct. And then once I've got those, it's a matter of masking them away. So I'm going to group them. And I do need to, they do need to bend around a little bit, in all honesty. If I get my pencil tool yeah, and just come in and 
do this around there like so. Okay, and once I've got that. So this is not I managed a... to connect with that path. I shouldn't have done that. This is not a selection. Sorry, say again. You're... This is not a selection, you're just uh, drawing a shape and you just will drawing a shape. Most yeah. likely subtract that one away from uh, the die. Uh, yes. No, I won't actually. No. Um, no, what I'm going to do is do that. So fill it with black. I've got some a lot of extra work to do, I can tell you that. <laughs> I'll then go to transparency and make a mask. I'm going to turn the uh, clipping off just there. Right. And once I'd really resolve those, I was kind of hoping I might just be able to do it and make it look super, super slick. And what's, you can see uh, the idea. What's the advantage of having a mask instead of just um, using Shape Builder to take it away? Uh, because that content is still there. Yeah. Okay. So if I need to make a change, the content's all still there. So, uh, but what I'll do is now I've got the symbols, I can redraw that, I can make the dice again later on, put them into the exact position I want them to be in, and then I can expand them and just mask those bits off so that will work. Nice. I'm just so conscious of the time. Uh, this thing here, similar uh, thing going to work uh, for that one. Are they enjoying this, by the way, Tim? I, I haven't heard anything. <laughs> Sarah says, and I thought the pyramids would be cheese and dice. Haven't you listened to the song? Clearly says, by the pyramid dies in the valley of things. I mean, dice could be made of yeah. cheese. There is a pink river. Yeah. An okay. adequate spring. If you use Swiss cheese for dice, you could, don't have to draw in home numbers. You can just uh, use holes. Send to the lordy, back. Lordy, lordy, lordy. Well, it still says, send to the back. It's keeping things tidy, I guess, in key line mode. It what? Here we go. Now I know I'm still on the same uh, the same layer here for this. I figured that um, these felines from space. <laughs> yeah. I figured that because uh, cats really love themselves, right? And rightly so, because they are beautiful creatures. Unless um, they decide they would... to jump on your bed and. Three in the morning and demand food. Now you know full well that is the default behaviour of my Bilbo. <laughs> that is exactly what what he does. He does exactly that uh, for me. Uh, now I'm going to use something. Uh, I'm going to use one of the plugins here because my workflow is actually littered with plugins. I'm absolutely full of plugins. I'm going to change the color of this shape as well so you can see this a bit more clearly. I'm going to use uh, the rounded corners tool from uh, Astute Graphics or Dynamic Corners. And I'm going to dial in, I'm going to dial in a 60 mil radius here and apply that. Okay. It wouldn't do that because I forgot that this was around about that size. So. Uh, there is also a Dynamic Corners tool so I can get hold of the corners here and drag these around like so i'm actually going to go pretty much to the maximum but what i really love on this right is that you've got this squircular uh function and that changes that shape uh -huh. ever so slightly so if i take take it back to true radius and let's just have a look at that just for a minute without that can you see that it sort of goes from a curve to being flat yeah just there okay if I go back for dynamic corners and change it to squircular, yeah, it rounds these things off. In fact, if I pull it away and introduce it, you can see that those, the radii of those things is not mm -hmm. exactly square. It's beautiful. Squircles. Really nice. Squircles. Squircular. Well, that's from Apple, right, with their icon design. Uh, do hickey stuff. Right, so there we are. That's how I would draw that particular thing. Not finished yet, so let's try and get the proportion of that more or less the way I want it. So I'll get those two things. Shape Builder, poof, get rid of that. Uh, go ahead and round off those corners there. I don't want any sharp uh, corners. That's more or less cat-like, I think. <laughs> just bring that up a little bit like that. There, there you go. we go. If it was a ship, there we go, a cat spaceship, that would work. 
so I need to do a couple of other things here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use their uh, offset tool as well. Okay, and I'll just pick up. Reminds me uh, a bit of these robot va vacuums that just drive around your flat and uh, vacuum everything. The cats would hate those, I, I suppose. Yeah. So here I can drag an additional radius or two uh, from that. Okay, I love this tool set. And all that could be done without plugins, of course, but since we're... It could be done without plugins, but it would be... Uh, it would be a little bit slower. But yeah, absolutely it could. And uh, Sarah says, Nope, found this stream during lunch break. Well, did you know we're live on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays? And this happens to be the second part of Tony's Hackathon this week. So if you have missed the first part, do make sure to uh, go back. On Behance, you can just scroll down below the player and you will see all the replays. We have quite a lot. And um, yeah, just rewatch the day one and you will hear the full mix of uh, walls, uh, the wall and the floor. We are so naughty. <laughs> we really are. Uh, so I want some dots around here. So what I'm going to do is do rounded end caps on there. Do I know Sarah? She Sarah Waldman. Oh no, I don't think I do. Or maybe she's German, Sarah Waldman. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Uh, so I'm after a few different things here from this. Right, so I'm doing these things here. What happened there? Oh. I've done this behavior in here appears to have changed, right? You dial in the gap, but if you don't hit return. By the way, that's a great Good. tip if you want to add dots. Just change the first um, dash to. Thing to zero. Yeah, exactly. And if not, I draw me to show that again, Tim, and just not on me. one. And unlike some YouTube tutorial, it's claimed to have it. Like one PT, no, zero. That's the way to go. There are loads of things in Illustrator to which zero is actually the answer. Um, but anyway, there we go. Moving on. So I am going to uh, draw another ellipse just here. Can you see that? I'm drawing an ellipse and it's got that dotted Whee! stroke on it. That's it's like a solar system. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> right. Uh, with this one. I want to flatten out the bottom, so direct selection tool. Bit of slow motion and flattening. Slow motion unflattening. Gareth will be screaming at the at his computer now. I mean, he'll he'll, sort of living I, he'll be saying reality asylum. He is living in a reality asylum. Yeah. Yeah. And then, of course, Sandrine, wasn't that a song by Crass? Reality Asylum. I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Sounds about right. Yeah. And if you're drawing along at home, of course, you don't have to draw a spaceship. You can draw anything you want. You can draw a hot air balloon to revive the golden age of ballooning, if you want. Or if you don't have to draw on uh, an illustrator. You could do it with your pen and pencil, right? But of course, oh, that infusion. Man. Yeah. Hey, that's I'd forgotten that one. I'd forgotten the graphite infusion. Uh, so what I'm doing here, by the way, yes. is uh, a two-fold thing. Yeah, because at the moment, I'm I don't want to draw the bottom of this of this spaceship like this, right? I don't want to do that. Um, what I want to do, and I'm just going to outline this stroke so all of those, um, which again is something else I've assigned a shortcut to, uh, but I want to just do it here from the menu system. Yeah, I want, I want illustrators to do that hard work for me, essentially. That's what I want to happen just there. Uh, these things would also be kind of very light green. I'm going to just mix that separately. So here's the thing. When I click here, I've got the swatches. Uh, if I hold down the shift key and click, then suddenly, of course, I've got the, um, the mixer. So I'm actually going to mix uh, this. I'm going to go for something like that. Nice. Maddie uh, star green. 
was there. However, it doesn't look very muddy still. Let's create a new swatch on that and just apply it. It looks awfully dark, if you don't mind. Oh, it's on 60% opacity. That's why. That'll be why. That was would have been my next port of call. Is this the sure, opacity is somewhat different? Me. Yes, it would. <laughs> Uh, these also, uh, I think, will share uh, that green there as well. Good. Now, I've got all of the components I need for that, really. Uh, so I am going to move all of those sliders. How am I doing this at the same time, Tim? All of the sliders at the same time? Uh, option key? Close. Shift. No cigar. Yes. Uh -huh. There we go. I mean, the answer almost always is the option key. It's the uh, it fun things in Illustrator. In Photoshop, it definitely is. Uh, okay, that's good. Um, do I want anything around the front thing here? I think we should have something. So time we'll go ahead says and no. <laughs> Who's it? Time says no. Well, eight minutes. Oh, we can do it, Tim. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Well, I don't want to anger the Behance Panhammer. Another song, by the way. Not a song. Yet. Yet. And we we have inspirational quotes in the chat. A dream does not become reality through magic. It takes sweat, determination, and hard work. Awesome work. Doing the best at this moment puts you in the best place for the next moment. Well, there you go. Nice. I'll Very like, I'll nice. Like I like the game with that, and I want to subscribe to your newsletter. Good. All right. Ready? Born ready. And now oh. we're going to sit here and watch Tony duplicate. Or maybe not. Yeah. I thought you would go for the blend tool. But that works. No, I'm just going to duplicate those, and let's turn those into a symbol. Oh, man. <laughs> Welcome to Apple Live today. <laughs> uh, now I need to copy that because I need that shape. Okay, this one here, symbol. You've already seen how this works out really with the dice. I'm call that under. Now like so. I don't need those things because they're already there. Let's paste this down. And let's go ahead and extrude and bevel this. So let's do a bit of an extrude, like so. Okay, not quite that deep this time. Pretty deep. I'm going to dial that down, man. It's pretty deep, man. Heavy. Um, not Stephen. Yes. Welcome. Welcome to the chat, uh, Stephen. Looking forward to the album cover, he says. Nice. Right, I've added a bit of a bevel there just for giggles. Yeah, now I'm going to go to map art. Let's just see where we are. You can see that red outline this time. Okay, I'm going to go to the under side just there. That's working out perfectly well. Let's go through. We've got a lot of uh, surfaces this time because of the um, of the bevel I've put on. There we go. That's the one I'm after. So I want the front for that. I am going to hit scale to fit. Like so. That's working pretty well. Then. And Reality Asylum by Crass, released in 1979. Is that Sandrine providing all uh, of that Angus. hardcore thinking? Angus. Angus. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. He's not the only one with right, a working internet connection. I too can bing things. Just bing it. Why are we saying bing now? What's with the thing with bing now? Because if, I think it's super funny when you say just bing it. Like what? Wow. There we go. I, I'm also changing the lighting uh, for this as well. Slightly. Oh, it's on the wrong side. There we go. And my overall general lighting scheme is from the from that side. Don't anyway, there you go. You can see how that ends up 
again, not in exactly the right place just for the moment, but for the purposes of demonstration, yeah, I've managed to get that drawn successfully um, in that way. Sometimes you also want to add some additional shading. So this is where you kind of expand it okay, and then use the Pathfinder here to crunch all of that stuff together. You get loads of tiny edge things in there, by the way, that you sometimes need to uh, use the shape builder with shapes mode. So if I just do that, you can see all of the additional points. I'm going to hold down shift so I get an area and drag across that. I've also got another tool here called Vector First Aid that resolves uh, those additional points really quickly. There is the native uh, simplify function as well. Uh, then I can add a gradient to that. Let's just make it black to black on both ends, but on the right hand side, I'm going to make that down to zero, like so. Okay, and then bring that in on top. Change the blending mode. Yeah, I do wish you could cycle through these like you could in Photoshop. You know, it's really handy. And Jackie says, I've never used the symbol option in Illustrator. Interesting. Well, there you go. Oh. And Christine yeah, says, this was a very exciting stream to me. Um, I love Tony's free working style. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Well, we'll see just a little bit more of this on Friday before we get into the After Effects uh, stuff. We'll have a little bit of Photoshop. So there'll be one other thing that I'll reveal to you. I'll, just, I'll show you how I will have drawn at that particular point the adequate springs. So we'll have all of our figures in just here. We'll have the wall on the floor, which itself will be just a straightforward drawing of a wall. So I've got, I've got about three minutes, haven't I, Tim? I'm well, 13 if you want to stretch it. Okay, let's push it just a little bit further, if yep. you don't mind. That'll be really good. Tony works for free, yeah. yes. We feed him biscuits. And uh, yeah, right. biscuits. Where are my biscuits then? Where are my biscuits? I ate them all. This is what I want to know. I ate all the biscuits. Because that's when you want to hear when you wake up, just somebody whispering in yeah. your ear. I ate them all. I ate all the biscuits. Oh, sorry. Uh, so uh, let's just say for the, the, I'm drawing the proportions of the of the molds in the studio. There, it just looks like the actual thing. Uh, so for this, I would then come along and I would draw uh, some lines, like so, okay, and I'll double click on the line tool just there and choose a colour for those. Might make them just a bit bigger so they're easier to see. Let's have a quick look. No, that needs to be way more contrasted than that. Mm. Uh, so. I'm doing it the Photoshop way of double clicking on the things here to, to do it. Okay, there we go, something like that. Um, typically as well, I'd round the ends of these off. It would be a little bit too geometric this for my particular taste, so I'll do some other stuff as well. But what I'd do is I would get parts of a pattern like that, okay, and just for, the purpose of speed. I'm just going to duplicate that in a few other places. So I'm just going to make some more over here. So draw a wall or the representation of a wall. Okay, in flat. And you can always flip yeah. that design and uh, could do that as well. Yeah, absolutely. Could do that. It's um my original drawing would actually have where I would plot these, you know. It really would have them in there. But anyway, you get to something like that. Yeah, and then you would group that. Okay, so you've got a group. Then what you would do is you would go back to the 3D effects, but this time you would choose rotate. Okay. Mm. So you choose that. You can see that already the artwork is being rotated. Now I've got a few different presets uh here that I could use, okay, to work with. So change a front projection just there, which I've got, and then I'm going to bend that around like so. Let's add in some wacky perspectives just there. I think I had to max out on the other thing, I think that's to 85. Let's go for 100, round right about that. That's not too bad, actually, the way it is. 
that just there, let's hit OK. Let's bring that down. And for resolving that, because clearly that is not resolved yeah, at all. So for resolving that, all you need, then need to do at that point is to go back and click on the effect uh, here in the panel. Right, and then you can just go ahead and rotate that around. If you grab the edges, you're at no risk of sending anything else in the wrong direction. But there we are. That's oh, close, 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 close. Well, I guess you can also surface. work with the dials on the right if you don't want to mess up anything. You could do that as well, and you can enter numeric values. Um, but it's just that the edges, as they light up, you're only going to work on that axis. Whereas if you click on the faces, you can control all, all of the axes at the same time. <clears throat> Pardon me. But there you go. You get those into pretty much that position uh, by hook or by crook. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, you've of got course, wall on the floor. We have a very important question by um, the hovering art uh -huh. director or comment. Actually, by the hovering art director. On I my like left, it, but I don't love it. On my left ear, hang on. I like where this is going, but let's just start over. There we go. It's going to work out, I promise you. But you've seen the essential techniques that I would use to build out these these things, even if they're not completely built at the moment. You have seen how I would go about doing those. Yeah, and people did enjoy um, this. They're saying, very cool, good. never thought of working off of my personal sketches. And then we jump into After Effects and just for Gareth, no. Um, this was a wonderful stream and inspiring. Unfortunately, I have to go. I'm looking forward for the final album cover. Yes, we will be back on uh, Friday. And of course, we yeah. did have our first stream on Monday already. So just switching over to the big camera. There we are. Oh. There you are. There we are. Joe, I'm really looking forward to spending uh, Friday lunch time with you, mate. It's going to be good. And as good. usual, I have learned lots of stuff, loads of stuff. Well, worth a watch part three tomorrow. No, on Friday. So make sure to Friday. tune in. And to close the stream for today. Um, well, when you are seeing the outro, I thought we can listen to the unplugged mix once again, if you have missed it. Um, if you didn't join early enough. So um, thank you so much, Tony, as always. Thank you, mate. It was a pleasure seeing You're you awesome. work. Thank and, you. Uh, for once, I even understood most of it. Just kidding. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, so I'm also, thank you for watching everyone at home. Thank you, Oliver, Jackie, Joe, Gareth, Neil and Stephen and Dan and everyone who is scrolling through at the moment. Dan says, looking forward to it. Great stuff again, Tony and Tim. Thanks, guys. So um, that's it thank from you. all of us over here. Thanks for watching. And uh, see you on Friday. Yes. Bye. Take care. Bye. The octopus dances, the tentacles wave, a beckoning signal for meek and for brave. Come gather my children, let's open the door and see with our own eyes the wall on the floor. Let's see with our own eyes the wall on the floor. The wall on the floor is where our mice can play It is horizontal and points the wrong way But it's easy to climb as it's perfectly flat You'll have no fear of falling and won't need a hat No fear of falling and won't need a hat the mystery they speak of in town where does the wall come from and why it lays down put it by druids or felines from space or did giants drag it from some other place we don't know we don't know we don't know what well, we don't know is that dunning kruger well yes i guess so Let's get back to the story, no tangents allowed The wall on the floor is the subject right now Well okay, well okay, I'll do what you say Just thought I'd mention and done anyway
way. Thank you so much. By the pyramid dice in the valley of things, you'll find the pink river and adequate springs. There are many who travel from far, far away, and there may be a bus, but I really can't say. I've checked and there is one just on Saturday.